So hats off and a free Kablamo t-shirt to this seasoned instructor and his young student in the safe forced landing of this 1974 Satabria 7ECA November 57679er last Saturday, September 9th at San Diego's Gillespie Airfield. These two give a good interview to the local news lady, which I can't replay for copyright reasons, but it looks like the engine failed in the pattern and they successfully made it almost back to the runway, but got stopped short by the runway fence right here. So this is runway 27 left and right at uh, San Diego's Gillespie Airfield. You can see the aircraft coming in to land just ahead of them here. But before it got stopped by this fence, the Satabri clipped and knocked over this fence on the uh, opposite side of the street. So he took out this fence, rolled right over it, very little damage it looks like to the Satabria, and then, st and then stopped quite uh, abruptly at this fence here. And then some lady came flying up on the scene in her car and didn't see this fence knocked over in the street and ended up uh, damaging her car in the process. So it was a, uh, a dead stick landing followed by a minor uh, car wreck afterwards. There, there's a good picture of the fence that the Satabria took out. And there's the picture of the underside of the lady's car as it grabbed a hold of the fence and jerked her to a stop. She apparently didn't see the fence uh, or the airplane right there in the way. So if we look at the flight aware data, it looks like they took off and went out and did a little bit of air work and then came right back into the pattern to do a series of touch and goes. And then somewhere along this last touch and go with a wider pattern, it looks like the engine failed somewhere right in here on the base leg and turned to final to the airport. If we look a little closer at the ADS-B data, we see him flying this large right base at 80 knots, 79 knots, uh, 1,600, 1,300 feet, 77 knots, 71 knots, 70 knots at 1,000 feet, and then He's got to stretch the glide from here because he's a lot further away from the runway. He, apparently he's got some sort of engine failure right along here and he's carefully stretching his glide. He's down to 52 knots here. Normally, uh, back here on a normal pattern, he'd be more like at about 66 knots on final. This is ground speed, of course. He's down to 50 knots, 51 knots. He maintains aircraft control at 50 knots all the way into the fence and that's the key don't stall the aircraft while trying to stretch the glide to make it to a suitable landing spot good job maintaining aircraft control and as you know gillespie airfield is now surrounded by development so good job making it back to the airfield and keeping it away from the houses a real good job with the short field landing as well. He just made it over the San Vicente freeway and only has about 107 feet to work with here before he hit, took out this fence here and then hit the barrier fence right there. And here's where you can see the San Vicente freeway right over here on the right. Just, just a hundred feet to work with before hitting the barrier. So good job on the short field landing and approach, maintaining aircraft control, free Kablamo t-shirt to that crew and anybody else that wants a Kablamo, Kablamo t-shirt, check out the merch store that Kellen Bodine, the summer intern has set up. Thank you so much for your support of this channel, especially the folks over on Patreon that make this content possible. I like it when everything works out. See you here.